Extravaganza. I'm your host, Samantha Solomon, winner of last year's show. For those of you just tuning in, we're down to our final two contestants here on the Totally Testament Talent Extravaganza. Before the last commercial break, contestant King David came to a screeching halt when he missed the final triple pirouette in his dance routine and unfortunately had to be carried off of the Totally Testament Talent Extravaganza stage on a stretcher. Poor guy wept the whole way up. But the competition is back on now. As a reminder, our final two contestants, Samson, rep in the Old Testament, and a follower of Christ, rep in the New Testament. What kind of contestant name is that? Well, let's give it up for Samson, who will be singing his version of Hey There Delilah. Samson? <clears throat> I would say it's nice to see everyone out there today, but uh, anyway, here's my song. <laughs> Hey there, Delilah, this is your ex-boyfriend, Samson. I know you thought the lifting weights made me so buff and handsome. You were wrong. <laughs> it's cause I let my hair grow long. That makes me strong. Hey there, Delilah, you came in while I was sleeping. And I couldn't feel you cutting. And I couldn't hear you creeping out the door. You left my hair piled on the floor <laughs> while I just snored. Oh, what you did to me, oh, while I was asleep. Oh, I'm a Nazarene, oh, but you shave me clean, Delilah, you're so mean. Now I'm chained up to the wall and I can't cry no tears at all because they came and gathered up both my eyes. I just had to clean shears and shave my head like Britney Spears and now I'm standing here and don't shave. And you're to blame. That was truly beautiful. But it's not up for me to be the judge, it's up to you, Jerusalem. If you would like to vote for Samson, write TTTEXO2 on a scroll, tie it to your dub, and send it our way. I'm Samantha Sullivan, and we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors, Old Myrrh. Hello, ladies. Look at your fisherman. No, back to me. No, back at your fisherman. No, back to me. Sadly, he isn't me. But if he stopped using Lady Scented Body Wash and switches to Old Myrrh, he could smell like he's me. Look down, back up, where are you? You're on a fishing boat with a fisherman, your fisherman can smell it. Watch your hand, I have it. It's an oyster with two tickets to that thing you love. Look at it again, the tickets are now diamonds. Anything is possible when your fisherman smells like old myrrh, not a lady. I'm the donkey. <laughs> long shot. I mean, Samson's song was pretty entertaining. And this is a talent show, not a popularity contest. But see, that's the thing. I'm a follower of Christ, a Christian. And where I come from, that's not a popular thing. And I know I've already caught some flack because my talent isn't dancing like David. Dude, that was a wicked spill. And I'm not a singer like my man Sam. I'll help you to your car later, buddy. <laughs> that's just it. Jesus wasn't always the most popular guy either. But I read about all the ways he helped people. He fed the hungry, comforted the lonely, clothed the knit. I'll take it from here, Christian. If Jesus were representing the New Testament, well, of course, he would absolutely win. I mean, come on, miracles beat out the blind baritone any day. But this is the Totally Testament Talent Extravaganza. And you, my friend, aren't going to win any talent competitions by sharing your nachos with some street dwellers or visiting someone's granny at a retirement community. Where's the talent in that? With all due respect, Samantha, a talent is something you excel at, something you have a natural ability for. Like you with your ability to answer the 10, 20, and 30 pointers and both the red and the green side in a Bible quiz match. <laughs> yeah, I saw the show. Well, this is my talent. I've been called to reach out to those around me and be like Jesus. I may never be the most popular kid in school, and as of right now, I haven't performed any miracles. But my time is coming. This is my talent. And how much better is it for me to be up here doing something in Jesus' name than to just be up here singing or dancing? I'd say this changes the competition a little. In fact, I'd say this changes everything. 